Even though it's not even Christmas time yet, I just want to do a review of this movie just to let you guys know on how I felt about this movie. That's all. <laughs> Yo, what's up, everybody? Jesus to Ass here. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing The Santa Claus 2. Scott Calvin has been in the role of Santa for the past eight years, and his loyal elves consider him the best one ever. But the world of the merry old soul turns upside down when he's dealt a double whammy of news. Not only has his son Charlie landed on this year's naughty list, but he also discovers that he has to marry by Christmas Eve, just a month away, or he will stop being Santa Claus forever. And it was interesting once I saw the trailer for this movie on my Finding Nemo DVD that I used to have that came out in 2003 at the time. But when I watched it recently, I find it to be okay. I mean, it was fun and enjoyable when I watched it five years ago, but as an adult, it was a little misleading for me. Doesn't mean that was terrible, kids. It's just that for me, I find it to be missing the mark just a tad bit. I mean, the CGI and green screen was good, but it's not as good as I thought it would be. Some green screen effects can be a little cheesy in a couple scenes, and that's a bummer. Same with the Kevin Morgan cinematography. It looked like something on a Disney Channel. Although, there was a Disney Channel Easter egg that I actually noticed the last five years I watched it in one scene. Not telling you where or what it is. You'll have to find out when you see the movie. That was the coolest part about it, though. As for the rest, including its story and plot, Hotline, I give it a B plus. But what really worked in this movie for me was how it was executed, how the acting was good, whoever's responsible for the casting, and how the character development articulation made the movie so well. It's a sequel to the 1994 Santa Claus movie, but with a new goal to achieve. He has to add a Mrs. Claus to the mix, or the de-Santification process will be complete. But other than that, in the end, the Santa Claus 2 was a decent sequel. I mean, the effects were okay, the execution is really good though. It does give you that Christmas feel to it, but still, that doesn't mean that I like the film, I had some problems within it. So as a result, I rate The Santa Claus 2 3 out of 5 stars. But if you love this movie to death, then again, I'm proud of you for it. No one can ever fault you for it. But I'm just saying, it didn't really work for me when I recently watched it. That's all. So The Santa Claus 2. Have you seen it? If you haven't, let me know in the comments which Christmas movie or holiday special do you personally enjoy. For me, I enjoy both versions of How the Grinch Stole Christmas and Frosty the Snowman a lot. Just saying. But if you have, come back and let me know what you thought about it. Also, if you like this video and you want to see some more, make sure that like button shines in your face. That'll totally help me out a ton. Also, share that video with your family and friends and favorite it. That's a very good way to show support for that review. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.